John, we've had fairly sketchy details at this end, but what more do you know? Uh, Annette, the, the, the big issue here is that they have signed uh, a, a nationwide ceasefire that is, uh, comes into immediate effect. That's, that's a major achievement in a, in a country where they've been torn by conflict for the last nine years. Uh, what is also important is the uh, special envoy, the acting special envoy, Ms. Williams, mentioned that uh, there will be confidence building measures uh, set in place to, uh, for instance, immediate uh, resumption of flights between Tripoli and Benghazi, reopening of transport routes. And also, uh, she mentioned as part of the confidence building measures, the sides agreed to, to uh, tone down hate speech and incitement to violence. Uh, also very important was she mentioned that the all foreign mercenaries and foreign troops would have to leave uh, Libya within three months. So what would be the role of the international community, John? The role of the international community, uh, going back to the big conference in Berlin earlier this year, uh, they've been trying to uh, to nudge the, the warring sides to, to a, a permanent ceasefire. But uh, the great powers have been divided and there's a bit of a proxy war there. So the issue here is, and now Ms. Williams mentioned, she, uh, they would like to see the Security Council pass a resolution to basically endorse this accord. And that would be a, a sea change because the Security Council has been divided on many issues. If they manage to get a Security Council resolution endorsing this agreement, that would put a lot of weight because it would force the various players on the sidelines, whether it's Egypt and the UAE supporting uh, the sides in Benghazi or uh, Turkey and uh, Qatar supporting the government in Tripoli, if they are out of the picture, there's a bigger chance of a, cease, of a permanent ceasefire holding.